Mastering your device, the key to smooth video calls. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video, where we'll be focusing on an essential aspect of video call etiquette, setting up your device and software. By mastering this skill, you'll not only make a great impression on your peers, but also make your video call experience more efficient and enjoyable. So, let's dive right in. The first step in setting up for a video call is choosing the right device. While most modern smartphones, tablets, and computers support video calling applications, it's essential to choose one that is comfortable for you and provides a stable internet connection. Remember, the better the device and connection, the smoother your video call will be. Next, we'll discuss how to set up your video calling software. Whether you're using Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, or another application, you should familiarize yourself with the interface. Know how to mute, unmute your microphone, turn your camera on, off, share your screen, and navigate the chat box. These are essential functions that you'll use frequently during a call. When positioning your device, Aim to have it at eye level so that you're looking straight into the camera. This mimics the feel of an in-person conversation. Also, ensure your device is steady and won't wobble or fall during the call. A shaky camera can be quite distracting. Before starting a call, it's crucial to do a quick audio and video check. Confirm that your camera is working and your microphone can pick up your voice clearly. This step will save you from any awkward silences or miscommunications during the call. Before starting your call, ensure you close all unnecessary applications on your device. This will help your device run smoothly, prevent unnecessary notifications from appearing during your call, and make sure your device's resources are dedicated to your call. That wraps up our discussion on setting up your device and software for video calls. Remember, preparation is key to a smooth and professional video call experience. We hope this video has been helpful, and don't forget to practice what you've learned. See you in our next video.